This is Shari from Little Blue Deer Design, and today I'm going to show you how to send out a welcome email in MailChimp. You might use MailChimp um, to send out blog posts by email or newsletters, etc. It's free up to 2,000 subscribers. I have a few tutorials that I'll share with you at the end that show you um, how to get started in MailChimp. But this tutorial is to show you how to send out a welcome email to your subscribers right after they sign up. So we're going to assume that you already have a MailChimp account. Um, and this is just a few step process. So what you're going to do first of all is log into MailChimp, MailChimp.com, and you're going to click on Lists. And this is going to take you to your list. I have a couple. We're just going to choose Little Blue Deer Latest. So go to Lists and then on the drop down over here on the right next to your list name, you're going to go to sign up forms okay and then you're going to select under sign up forms form builder so click select and now you're going to go right over here where it says forms and response emails and you're going to click on the drop down and you'll see by the way that this is where you can set up all kinds of different email responses, auto responses. We're only going to talk about the welcome email, but if you're uh, wanting to customize your MailChimp list more, you can check out some of these options. So under forms and response emails, go to final welcome email. It is confusing because it says final welcome email and the final is very confusing to people which is one reason I'm doing this tutorial it's just a welcome email it goes out after people subscribe so what you want to do is you can either check or uncheck let subscribers pick email format that doesn't really matter um, you do need to make sure that the send a final welcome email box is checked and now you just build your email. Super simple. The hardest part of this whole tutorial is finding out where to actually go to set up this welcome email. I have already set up my email and what I've done here is um, I've added, I've set it up so that people can download some of my different desktop backgrounds. You probably don't want to do something quite so fancy. But what you're going to want to do is click on the build it button. Mine's already built. So I'm just going to go to edit so I can show you some of the different things that you can do. So when you click on build, you basically have something that looks just like an email or a Microsoft Word or even a WordPress post editor. You can see all the different features here. So I'm just going to highlight a few of the features. Um, there's the image feature, which means that you can add an image. Okay, I already have some images here. I'm not going to add a new one, but that's the image feature. And we'll just click right back. I've clicked out of it, unfortunately. Once again, back to final welcome email. And here's our email again. So I showed you how to add the images. The other thing that you might possibly want to do is add a link. This is the link icon. As you can see, I've got some links here. Um, those are the main ones. You can use the image uh, button to upload a uh, maybe a copy of your blog header. You'll just type the text in directly as you can see. You can change the font, the size, underline, italics, etc. I've made a little gallery here. This is maybe a little bit fancier than what you would want to do. But basically to upload an image you'll want to click on the image. To add a link you'll just want to highlight your text just like this and then click on the link and it'll let you add a link etc you can style your text very simple now we're just going to close out of this and i'm not going to make any new changes i've already set this up you can also click over to the design it tab and this is where you can do things like set the background um, you can change the size of your header uh, etc. The outer wrapper, if you want to add a background to the wrapper of the email, that's the outside part of the email, you can do that. But mainly the content's going to be built in the Build It tab. And as long as you have MailChimp auto saves automatically every 20 seconds, which can be a good or a bad thing, just depending, um, but they do, 
So as long as you have the send a final welcome email checked, then whatever you set up in the final welcome email here is going to be sent out automatically to your subscribers as soon as they sign up. So if you'd like to uh, read more about this, I have also a step-by-step -step tutorial on my site. It's at uh, how to send a welcome email in MailChimp. You'll see this. I'm going to add the link to my YouTube and this also walks you through everything that I've gone over here. Um, and I also have, if you go to my site, um, I have a tutorials page that has a bunch of different and helpful tutorials. Um, there are a few MailChimp tutorials. I have uh, one that shows you how to uh, send out blog posts via MailChimp, which is super helpful. Um, you can kind of just browse around. I also have a tutorial that shows you um, in MailChimp how to transfer from FeedBurner to MailChimp. Those are just a couple of my MailChimp tutorials, and I have a ton of WordPress and graphic design tutorials as well, once again at WordPressTutorials.com. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions at all, then please feel free to leave a comment in the videos. I try to check these and respond back. Thanks so much for watching.